News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Happening now, the Department of Justice is suing Texas over the state's recently approved congressional district maps. They argue most of the state's growth in the last 10 years is in minority populations, but the maps do not fairly represent that growth. The DOJ is requesting that new maps be drawn up ahead of the primary election in March. The first reported case of the Omicron variant now confirmed in Texas. The case involves a woman in the Houston area in her 40s with no recent travel history. Health officials across the country continue to test Omicron samples to see how severe it is. Right now, there are no confirmed Omicron cases in the valley. Today marks 80 years since the attack on Pearl Harbor back on December 7, 1941. Japan attacked the U.S. Navy base in Hawaii, destroying more than half of the fleet of aircraft and damaging all eight battleships. Some 2,400 service members and civilians were killed. About half were on the USS Arizona. More than 1,100 people were injured. One day later, the U.S. declared war on Japan and officially entered World War II. Turning now to weather, expect a cloudy start to the day. Highs will be in the 60s to near 70s. That's your news in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.